Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. I have a super exciting video for you guys today. You're going to get your very first look at some of the new products that Perfectly Posh just launched today. Today was our virtual uncon. Actually, it was yesterday. It started yesterday. Well, technically the day before. We had leadership on Thursday, yesterday kicked off uncon, and today is a continuation. And I have my very confidential box that we were not supposed to open yet, but I might have actually snuck a peek in. This headband might be from inside this box. I might have broken the rules. But it's okay, because in just a couple of hours, they're going to launch for everybody on our website, and I wanted to bust into these and look at them with you guys to give you my very first impressions. I have not even opened any of the products. I mean, I did open the box and take a peek, but I haven't opened any of the products. So we're going to do that together. Maybe I should bring you in closer. Are you ready for this? <laughs> okay, so. Um, so these were the boxes that Posh pre-sold to us. We had the opportunity to buy in. We did not know what we were going to be receiving in them, but we do know that Posh knows how to do it right. So I bought one. So inside, I got this cute little headband that I'm wearing, this cute little zipper bag from Perfectly Posh, and inside it has a lanyard. Um, the theme for Uncon this year was Pivot, which I just freaking love how appropriate during our pandemic. We are pandemic pivoting with our virtual Uncon. And you guys, truth be told, I know I'm getting a little long-winded and I'll get right to the products, but I was not, you know, super excited to have a virtual Uncon. I live for traveling. I love the magic of being with all of my Posh sisters, but I just have to say this, you guys, Posh nailed the virtual Uncon. Our speakers were super amazing. The um, platform for hosting the virtual like event worked. Yay, for no technical difficulties. Um, and just connecting with everybody over on Zoom and we had like after party Zooms. It's been so much fun and I feel just as jazzed as I do when I go to a regular event. I still miss travel, don't get me wrong, but I am so freaking pumped about my business. Okay, so inside here, I haven't even looked in here yet actually, um, but I know there's samples in here, samples of the new products. So we'll look at those last. I'm gonna show you my full size products first. Well, and the swag. Cute little notebook and pencils. So very first we've got Kale in it. So Kale in it is a brand new face wash. It says Kale, Seaweed, and Argon Kernel Oil Creamy Face Wash. So let's open it up and give it a try. Oh, first I have to take a selfie. Ooh, it's green. I should bring you in even closer. <laughs> I didn't even smell it. I'm not good at product reviews, guys, okay. Mmm. Ooh, I do like the smell of this, and it is super creamy. I can't smell, I, I, I can't describe smells. It smells super fresh. Ooh, I'll tell you, it actually smells like a not posh cleanser that I have from Osea. Very like marine smelling. That's what I'm getting, marine notes. <laughs> you guys, I am seriously so bad at describing smells. It's not my strong point. I'm more of a business end kind of thing. I like the products, but I can't describe them to save my life. <laughs> I get marine notes. I don't know that you're supposed to get marine notes, but that's what I'm getting. I feel like very oceany. Yeah, there's nothing that says, oh, I guess seaweed. That's oceany. Okay, okay. I'm getting the seaweed. <laughs> it feels wonderful. And yeah, super duper creamy. They're killing it with kale in it. <laughs> All right, let me rinse. And then do we have other facial products to try? Ooh. We have a mask. Let me rinse. Okay, I have rinsed, and now it's time to try the next product. Chemical Attraction. It's a brand new face mask. So Chemical Attraction is a renewing face mask. It says gentle renewing face mask. So it's called Chemical Attraction. I know nothing about it, and we're just gonna throw it on. Now mind you, if you're, if you're watching this at home, you should probably do a patch test. I always recommend testing new skincare out right here on the inside of your elbow. That's the skin that's going to be most closely um, related to or equal to your skin on your face. Um, but you know, I like to live life on the wild side, so we're going right in with it. It is a similar consistency to the Kaling It, very creamy, smooth texture. Here we go. Oh, oh, you smell the fruit extracts, 
right away I'm getting the fruit notes. Not mad at the scent, that is for sure. It does smell like a fruit salad. Who is calling me? So I got a phone call, so I allowed my mask to sit for a little while. Let's see what the instructions say. Oh, I do smell a little bit of lavender. Okay, so it says formulated with fruit derived AHAs, which I think are alpha hydroxy acids, to gently remove dry, dead skin and boost skin's natural collagen production. Plus, lactic acid minimizes the appearance of lines, wrinkles, and hyperpigmentation. Bergamot and lavender calm and soothe the, soothe the skin. Okay, it doesn't say how long to keep it on, so we'll go with 10 minutes and see how it does. Do, do, do. Okay, time to rinse. Okay, I'm all rinsed. If you have been around for a hot minute, I'm going to equate chemical attraction to very closely related to calling all fairies. If you remember calling all fairies, it was also a chemical exfoliation mask, and my skin feels very similar to how it would after that mask, and that was one of my favorites. So I super endorse chemical attraction. So, so far we have two wins. Now, moving on. I do have, this didn't come in my box, but I happen to have it. This is the brand new BFF. So this is going to be the new packaging BFF. Tried and true. Can't screw it up. Um, also not from the box, but I happen to have it. This is the new Moisturize 911 packaging. And what I'm super loving about our new packaging for BFF and Moisturize 911, even if it was born out of necessity because we couldn't get our other tubes, they're now three ounces, you guys. So that means that they're TSA friendly. You don't need to be, you know, messing around trying to put your BFF into a travel size container. These are ready to go. You can carry them on. You know, not that many of us are getting on airplanes these days, but that's going to change at some point, and you're going to be able to bring your BFF and 911. Okay, back to products from the box. How cute are these stickers? I love the accessories that they put into this box. They're just, like, super cute, but also professional looking. I just love it. Okay, I have one more box product to show you and one more not box product to show you. And we still have to look at these samples together, so I better stop flapping my gums and tra la la. Okay, Merlo, it's me. This is like literally made for Alyssa. You guys know my best friend is a total wino, um, so this was definitely made for her. But Merlo, it's me, ripe reds, ripe reds, yeah, okay. Ripe reds and warm spice with smooth notes of tonka bean. All right, let's give it a try. Ah, it's like a spicy wine. Spicy fruit. You guys, I'm not good at describing scents. I know. It's a spicy berry. It smells like a spicy berry. You're welcome. I described the scent. <laughs> I also happen to have something that didn't come in our box, but it is a new product that's launching. Well, I guess when you're seeing this, it technically launched tonight. So we've got a new lip balm. We've got a couple new lip balms coming. The only one I know about is this one, and it's called Simply the Zest. Simply the Zest. Mm, 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 better than all the rest. I just can't. I just can't help but break out into song. So Simply the Zest is one of our new lip balms, and it's a sweet and zesty lemon cookie. And you guys want it. All right, let me show you the samples that we got in our Unkind box. These are additional products that are releasing or have just released. <laughs> okay, so we've got Indigo Girl, and this is actually an oldie but goodie that is returning. So if you um, ever tried, what was it also called? Violet, Violet Femme was the very first name, and then it was rebranded as Indigo Girl. And now it's back as Indigo Girl. So we've got that coming. Super excited. You've already seen the BFF. You've already seen the Kaling It. But notice how cute these samples are. We've got new samples. So if you have been away from Posh for a little while, girl, it is time to come back. We've got samples. Ooh, okay. And then these ones, all three of these I am so freaking stoked about. Okay, so let's start with Fancy Plants. So Fancy Plants is a new face serum. Think, um, 
what was our space serum? Oh God, anti-gravity, cholesterol, what was it called? Out of, no, no. It's escaping me. Nothing phases me, that's what it was. So this is very much like nothing phases me. It's also kind of like never grow up and this is what is going to be replacing our never grow up serum that recently retired. So if you were a never grow up fan or a nothing phases me fan, you're going to wanna to try fancy plants, all right? So this is um, a face serum. Also, do you remember Night and Day? Night and Day is actually the very first ever product that I purchased for myself from Posh. And that was almost six years ago. Well, meet day and night. <laughs> She's back. I'm so excited. I love the packaging. It's a soothing white mint bergamot verbena, verbena, you know. It's a moisturizer, day and night, which I'm still probably going to call Night and Day. And lastly, I am so freaking excited. This is so right up my alley. So this is a new Big Fat Yummy hand cream called Disturbed. Get it? Dist-herbed. <laughs> anyway, it smells like grass. Fresh cut herbs and bright citrus. It basically smells like the earth. If you are a hippy dippy crunchy one like me, you will like Disturbed. And those are all of the products that I have to show you guys. There are so many more that launched and I am so freaking excited. Um, but I'm filming this before they actually do launch, and I don't know what they are. So just know that I'm super excited. They're going to be bomb.com. And if you have any questions about Posh, about products, try not to ask me about scents because you know I'm not very good about that. But if you have any questions about Posh products or the business, then reach out to me because I would love to talk with you. I hope you enjoyed my little sneak peek of the new products for you, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!